This hatchery was constructed to support the fish restoration efforts for the dam removal process on the Elwha River. We have one stock of steelhead, a native stock of steelhead here, and we have coho salmon. These fish that we have at the hatchery now will be released in May of next year. No one's really sure what the river is going to look like. The sediment loads in the river after the dams are going to be removed will be very high and they could reach lethal levels. The hatchery is going to provide a refuge to the fish and then we're also going to produce fish to help drive the recovery process of the ecosystem. Our hatchery will be protecting the steelhead, coal salmon, chump salmon and pink salmon. The tribe has foregone its tribal harvest right on the river for decades and they're tired of waiting. And they see hatcheries as being one potential way to increase the rate of recolonization and restoration of fish. Might speed up the recovery, might reduce it from something that could take 40, 50 years to something that could be done in 10, 20 years. There's people that, that still remember the huge runs of salmon that they saw as five and six year old kids. And they're hoping that their grandkids will be able to see a similar river in 15 or 20 years from now. It actually brought a couple of tears to my eyes when they actually shut down the dams a couple months ago. And I would imagine it would probably be more when I see the salmon swinging up by the places where the dams exist right now. I hope that if you call me in 15 years, that I'll be upstream in the, the upper watershed studying fish and not here at the hatchery feeding fish.